Alright, what's going on YouTube? Welcome to part 5 of Dirky Dirky Literature Club. Uh, last episode we uh, got in a cat fight with uh, these two. These two were, uh, well, three. We decided to help Suri and then Monica and both of them got turned down. And uh, not by us, by Yuri and uh, Nazuki. They both despised the idea so we had to help either Yuri or Nazuki. We went with the, to help Yuri with the decorations because it was more of my personal interest. Um, so Yuri was, seemed a little bit down. Uh, so she went home early, so we didn't get to talk much with her. Even though we based our poem off of her. But, yeah, anyway, she, for some reason she seems to be really down. She's probably just letting her, like, whatever bothering... Like, someone's probably bothering her. By the signs of it, it's probably us. Apparently she doesn't like us spending time with other girls, even though we haven't spent any other time with any girls and other girls in this game. Uh, we've literally, every single day, we've just focused on her. But it's whatever. It's, it's cool. She's still getting jealous of her, like nothing really but anyway let's just continue uh what about you nazuki uh nazuki what why is everyone yelling at me i didn't even do anything no 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 not that w what i meant at all <laughs> yuri anxiously glances between everyone in the room i'm sure for so i'm sorry for this i really don't know how big deep five picked me why big deep five picked me and also your, your cupcakes are the best ever. Uh, they go really well with my tea. And nothing that I do for the event will compare to that, so... So, I get it. I, I get it. You're just trying to be nice. I'm kind of surprised, though. Why? Um, well, I was the one acting immature. I already know that. But you're trying to cheer me up all of a sudden. I know I'm, I'm not very good at it. I'm sorry if I said something bad. Nizuki isn't the one, uh, sun only one surprised. Monica and I are also taken by Yuri's words. When she's already has trouble with words, trying to cheer someone up must be far hours of her own comfort zone. But I begin to understand. Yuri was trying to sound like Siori. Even if it, it didn't work perfectly, I, am, I can tell she had tried to say something Siori would say at a time like this. Because Fury always helps everyone smile and feel good about themselves. No, I kind of appreciate it. I'm sorry for making a big deal out of nothing. Can I go make? Can I go work with Monica? Thanks. I really want to know her backstory. I'm I'm really curious in Monica's backstory. Why? She, like, what's the purpose behind her writing? I'm really curious about it because most of it just seems to know. Like, most of it's related to the game in a way. Like with the first one, she talked about. Uh, us looking in and her looking out at, at us so you know and then the second one she talked about um having infinite choices which this game you can go down different routes so i'm really curious and then she went further to break the fourth wall again by saying we can save the game and load the game if there's a difficult decision because things can change so I'm really curious as to why Monica knows or keeps breaking the fourth wall. I don't know if it's just well played script, like well written scripting, or like so far the script is fucking amazing. Just saying. But yeah, I don't know if it's well 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 made scripting just for like a, a silly little joke, or there's some other meaning behind this. But anyway, I'm going to say this. You better. You better bet them cupcakes are going to be the best part of the whole event. <laughs> I believe you. Yeah. I hope to see everyone do their best. But with that, there is nothing more for today. So I guess it's time for us to head out. Alright, let's get out of here then. Everyone packed up the area things. I started to follow Monica and Nazuki out the door as they chat between each other. Um, uh, I turn around, sorry. Uh, I realised that I didn't ha don't have any way of contacting you this weekend. Oh yeah, sure. <laughs> Add me on Facebook. Big big dick Rob. I mean, don't say big dick Rob. You'll probably get a picture of like some big hairy greasy twat with his cock out. So yeah, don't search big big dick Rob. <laughs> I can't believe that slipped my mind. Should I give you my phone number? I think that would probably be the best way. Yes. All right then. Yuri and I exchange phone number. How to pick a women's number 101 with us. Right here. Go to a literature club. <laughs> okay. Uh, then I'll be, uh, I'll be stopping by your house on Sunday. Eh? 
my house is that a problem no not at all I just thought that it I would be going to your house since I'm the one helping you uh, I suppose that makes sense but if you don't mind I think I would prefer going to your house uh, sure in that case it won't be a problem I decide not to press Yuri for a reason it's not like it should matter much either way so I'll just need so I just need uh, to make sure my room is clean I hope I manage to make myself useful in some way I'm not nearly as creative as you anyway don't underestimate yourself big deal 5 I think that will make a very productive team even if you only choose me because you feel a bad or something wait you don't actually think that do you I, I, I don't know what I think it's difficult to come up with any other reason why you may choose me. You're forgetting the one reason with the most common sense. I chose to help you because that's what I want to do. Yeah, like I want to do the decorations. I, I love decorations. I love making decorations. I love drawing. It's like I said last episode, drawing has become one of my favorite pastimes now ever that I've been spamming uploading uh, speed arts like it's become one of my favorite things to do and granted drawing on the PC is a lot different to drawing in real life but I've been drawing in real life as well like I draw in real life and then once I've done drawing on real life I then print it out on the no not print it out but I put that thought onto the PC like with all the speed arts I've posted I've drawn them out first like on paper and then copied it from the thingy and gone from what I wanted to do and put it on there so yeah but anyway Yuri thinks to herself with a extremely tense expression you're you're overthinking this. You wanted me to. Are uh, you wanting me to put point out, out that you're overthinking, right? Uh, I didn't realize. I'm telling you, I want to. That's all there is to it. Do you believe me? I. You thinks really hard again. She looks straight in my eyes for a long while. I believe you. As if it takes her tremendous effort, Fury. A uh, Fury. Yuri finally says that and relaxes her expression. And I'm really looking forward to Sunday. Yeah, I am too. After the exchange, I make my uh, my way out of the door. Yuri follows. I can't believe this. Yuri is coming. Is going to be coming to my house on Sunday, even though I would prefer it to be to pe to prefer it to be with Yuri. My anxiety, uh, anx my anxiety still shoots uh, still shoots through the roof. I guess I've gotten pretty used to handling her at this point. No, not really. We haven't really talked. But okay, but who knows what might end up happening when we're outside of school. Nothing's gonna happen because I'm not gonna let it. Fuck that. My loyalty is to Sayori, but Miss Sayori's the one I've been working on. She's more of my personal style anyway, like her personality and shit. She's more aided towards me. That's what I'd go for. She seems like a meme lord, you know what I mean? Um, She even told me she was looking forward to it. I shake my head. Why do I feel nervous that Siori finds out about this? Uh, maybe you should tell her, probably? Just because with recent ways that she's been, it would probably be a smart thing. Just saying. It's not like we feel that way about each other. No, no. Besides, like Monica says, this is about the club. I have nothing to worry about. If I just go with it, then I'll have to go have a good time. Then I'll have a good time. I've just realized my webcam is so dark. All right, one second, let me finish that. Let me fix that, I'm gonna put my light on. What the hell, I just realized how dark the webcam is. I apologize for that. <laughs> I just didn't have my fucking light on. I mean, I should probably use the softbox that I paid like 70 quid for, but. Who, who uses softboxes, am I right? Uh, it's sun... Uh, what the fuck? I've been increasingly anxious about your upcoming visit. I keep telling myself there's no reason to be nervous, but it doesn't help much. Your, is it Sunday already? Fuck me. It went from being Friday to Sunday. Like that. Yuri is clearly an intro, intro, introverted and also intimate person in general. There is no doubt that she'll up and up a little bit when it's just us two. Meanwhile, uh, we're just been texting occasionally. She even extremely appreciative, uh, appreciative, App apprehensive. Sorry, at first, 
Uh, but it wasn't long before I was also learning much about her. But putting Yuri aside, I haven't heard anything from Siri since she left the club earlier the other day. It's not like we text each other at all or anything. But I've been worried about her in the book, back of my mind. Besides, what Siri said, and what Monica said. Is it really okay for me to put Siri's feelings aside when it come, when it, she might need me most? I decided to visit Siri before coming over, uh, before Yuri comes over. Rather than asking, why is the music stopped? Why is the music stopped? Uh, rather than asking, I simply tell her I'm coming over. Much like we've done in the past. Once I reach Shiri's house, I knock on the door before entering it myself. Again, we used to play so often that we, we've made it a habit of simply entering each other's houses like we were family. The house is quiet. Shiri isn't anywhere on the first floor, so I assume she's up in her room. It's already strange of her not to run down and greet me. Oh, thank God. <laughs> Uh, I head up into a room where I finally find her. Thank God, fucking hell. I shat myself there for a second. I was like, the game isn't going to do that, is it? It surely isn't going to do that. Siri. So hi, hi, Big Dip 5. I was, oh, thank God it didn't fucking do that. If it, if it did what I thought it was going to do, I was going to cry, man. I was literally going to cry. I said so the music stopped. Everything, bro. Oh, my God. Like, I think, I think we've gathered that she's depressed. And... With recent actions, it seems like she was really down and struggling to cope with things. So that would just make sense if she did that. So, but oh, I'm so thankful she didn't. Oh my god, that would have killed me. That would have killed me. Just saying, bloody hell. Okay, I sit down in her room. Siri fosters a smile, but it's easy to tell what that she's different. There's a minute of silence between us. You haven't come over like this in a long time. You have. Have you, sorry? I guess you're right. It's been a long time. Not much has really changed, has it? Shuri's room is as messy as it has always been. I also recognise the same stuffed animals and wild decorations that she had for a few years now. <laughs> if you come over more often, it would be it wouldn't be such a mess. That's because I'd end up cleaning it for you. How come you suddenly wanted to come over today? Aren't you supposed to be seeing Yuri today? Yeah, but wait, how did you know about that? Siri, uh, Siri had already left by the time she decided, uh, we decided that last meeting. Monica told me. It's only natural f for her to keep me informed about the festival preparations, right? Eh, I guess that's true. Uh, but what, what about you? Aren't you going to be helping Monica today? Of course, but I'm just going to be helping her online. We didn't plan to meet up or anything. Ah, so it, it's just me and Yuri then? Yep. There's more silence between us. Yuri stares into a ran it stares into a random direction. Everything about her behavior is really unchar uncharacteristic. I finally get to the point. I just wanted to see how you were doing. After you left from Friday, uh, when something when something's wrong uh, when something's wrong with you, you can't hide it from me. I know you too well. So, Siri smiles, shaking her head. That's not good, Big Dear Five. It kind of is. Being able to tell when you're upset and being able to help, it is a good thing. It just proves that he cares <laughs> and that he's making the effort. Uh, why can't it just be like it always was? This is all my fault. If I didn't get, get so weak and accidentally express my feelings, if I didn't make that stupid mistake, then you wouldn't have been worried about me at all. You won't have become have come up oh thought I'd do this. Bless you. Bless you so much. Oh my god, i Yeah, she's depressed. She's depressed. It... Bless her so much. I know how she's feeling, because it's It's exactly how I am. I know how she feels. She don't want people to worry about her. And she makes people feel happier. Her way of being happy is by making other people happy. 
And that's what I've gathered by the fact that she always wants to see other people smiling. She always wants to see us smiling. And that makes her happy. She's, she's, I think, yeah, I think she's like me, suffering with depression. Bloody hell, bless her. Yeah, this is just my punishment, isn't it? I'm getting punished for being so selfish. I think that's why the world has decided to give, uh, to have you come over today. It just wants to torture me. <laughs> Siri, I grab Siri by the shoulders. What on earth are you saying? Are you listening to yourself right now? I know something happened to you. There's no other explanation for this, for you to be like this. So tell me already. Until I know, I won't be able to stop thinking about it. Uh, uh. Sherry gives me an empty smile. You really put me in tr trouble, big dick. I, I wish I picked a more serious name now, fucking hell. I wish I just called myself something like Rob or... Swatface or Lee or something. But you're wrong. Nothing has happened to me. I've always been like this. You're just seeing it for the first time. Seeing what? Yeah, she's suffering with depression, isn't she? She's going to tell us in a minute. Guarantee. She's opening up. You're really just going to make me say it, aren't you, Big Deal 5? I guess I have no choice this time. Thing is, I have already. I have. There we go. Fuck me, the game got real real fast. People, what people don't understand as well is how bad depression is. It's... You literally wake up in the morning with... Having no motivation in the world to do anything. You wake up and you think to yourself... What is the fucking point? Why... Why am I up? Why Why am I here? There's, there's nothing for me in this world. You literally wake up with that mindset every morning and you can't help it. You every you go into something thinking all the ne most negative things. And if you do think about a positive thing, it's just so impossible to reach that it just becomes a legend. It just becomes a myth. You can't, it, it becomes unreachable. Happiness, happiness when you're in that, when you're, when you suffer with that illness just becomes completely unreachable. It, it's awful. It's honestly awful. And you see, the, I don't know if I said this sorry, but you see the negative in everything more than the, the positive. You, you the, it's, it's, it's hard to explain really. Um, but it's, It's not nice, really. That's all I'm saying. It's it's a horrible depression is a horrible thing. Um, it's an illness I would never wish anyone else upon. Um, obviously, it is an illness that is most mostly triggered by past events. Um, or sometimes you can literally just be born with, like, with it. But it's more of a rare occasion like that. But m most of the time, it is just triggered from past events. Um, but yeah, if if there's anyone out there watching this with that suffers from it, um, you can always try talk to me. I mean, I suffer from it myself. It's a horrible, it's a horrible thing. Like I'll, I'll <laughs> it's it's horrible because I'll, I'll I'll try to go to sleep just think, but. I can't bring myself to sleep most nights. Um, it's been getting really bad recently. Um, but you, you just sit there and you just think that... What is the point in going to sleep and hoping for a better tomorrow? Like You feel like there, there's nothing going to be good about tomorrow. And literally the only, only, only motivation I have to get up in the morning and do anything is YouTube. It's the one thing in, in life that I enjoyed the most. I enjoyed school a lot because I spent it with Nat, uh, my friend Jack, and other friend Taylor. And I'd spend my entire day just 
trying to focus making them smile and you can ask all three of them that I was the goofy fucker in the school <laughs> not really for everyone else but mostly for them I was literally identical to Siori I did all that type of stuff the thing she does acts like a goon everything I was I, I making other people happy is the only thing that really makes me happy in a way so I understand her feelings so much more than the regular person that would play this game, I guess. Um, but yeah, this is a really sensitive matter, so we're just gonna skip over it. I've talked too much about it anyway, because if you don't know, I like to keep my personal life outside of YouTube. Um, but anyway, let's just continue, so. Uh, did you know that? Uh, why do you think I'm late to school every day? Because most days I can't find a reason to kill. Literally just what I said. What, there, what reason is there to do anything when I fully know how worthless I am? Again, what I literally just said. Why go to school? Why eat? Why make friends? Why make other people put their energy in, in caring to waste about having them spend it on me? That's what it feels like. That's why I just want to make other people happy. Not everyone happy. Without everyone worrying about me. I'm in shock. I can't even figure out how to respond. How is it possible that Siri keeps this from me for an entire time I've known her? Uh, did she really want, want, want so badly for me to just not think about her? Why Siri? Eh? Why is it that you never told me about this? <laughs> It almost feels like I've been betrayed as your close friend. Because if I knew, I would have done everything I could to support you. Even if there's only only so much that I can do. I would have tried a little bit harder to make sure every day uh better you had every day a little better for, to make every day a little better for you. That's why I am your friend. All you have to do as well is tell me. You don't understand at all, do you, Big Five? Why do you think I didn't tell you? Because if I told you, then you would have wasted your effort caring about me instead of doing important things. And that's literally how you feel about everything. God, this has got really hard to play all of a sudden. Holy shit. I don't want to be cared about. It's bittersweet when people try to care about me. It feels nice sometimes, but it also feels like a, a bat swing being swung up against the head because just, there's other things. You feel like there's other things that could be done, that they could be doing than wasting time on helping you when your mindset doesn't change for a long time like I've pro I think I've probably had it since primary school um fuck me um this episode is just fucking me opening up to you guys holy shit but um I was severely bullied in primary so like horribly to the point where at one point I was nearly stabbed um I was also beaten one of my I was also beaten by one of my um mum's exes and I was also um, ripped by my own dad too so I think that's probably what triggered it uh, so I've had it for a l I've had it for a long time um, I'm getting help with it now but It's a horrible thing to deal with. It's, um, it's a uh, it's probably one of the worst things you could deal with in life. If I'm gonna be brutally honest, it's it's like an illness that stays for years and years, and it just never gets any easier. It just, if anything, it gets harder. It's 
it's horrible it's um it's honestly horrible and um, it's it's something I'd never wish on anybody um obviously I can't help I can't help that It's a place that not many people would want to be. Um, so I understand her feelings more than probably the most most normal people playing this. I haven't suffered from stuff like this. Um, sorry you guys had to hear that. It's just I really needed to get that off my chest. And... This whole situation was just the perfect timing for it, so. But yeah, anyway, let's, uh, let's, con let's continue. Uh, that's why I wasn't wanted so badly for you to make friends with everyone else. Helping everyone else be happy together is the best thing for me. But then I discovered something else too. Seeing you make friends and get closer with everyone in the club. It feels like a spear going through my heart. So that's why that's why I decided the world just wanted to torture me. Every path leaves nothing but hurt. Uh -huh. You're right that. I don't understand. I don't understand your feelings at all, Siri. But I don't need to understand. Wherever it takes whatever it takes for me to help you stop hurting that's what I'll do no big dick five that's nothing there's nothing nothing at all the only thing that could help me help uh, have helped is everything that could be like it always was but I was selfish I finally showed you what a horrible person I no Tears stream down series fears. I made you join the literature club because I was selfish. I was punished by my heart during a hurting in a way that I that I couldn't understand. I know you came here and I I made I made you hurt too. I'm just weak and selfish. It's hard to read this because I know that obviously this isn't a real person, but if it was, I know for a fact that isn't true. But I can't sit there and say that it's that's not true because I feel the exact same way about myself, and that's all I am. And that's why I'm going to escape, uh, accept these punishments. Because I deserve every last one. Without thinking, I once again grab Sierra's shoulders. This time I pull her into a tight embrace. Ah, uh, big dick five. Siri. I don't care if you feel selfish. I'm really happy that you convinced me to join the club. Seeing you every day makes it worthwhile enough. If I make friends with everyone else, then that's just a bit bonus. But please, never un under underestimate how much I care about you. I wouldn't have done it done it, it any other way. Big Dick 5. Siri isn't hugging me back. Despite my arms being wrapped around her, Siri's arms remain at her side. She starts sobbing next to my ear. No. Don't do this to me. Please don't do this. Big Dick 5, I'll... Uh, Siri, bear... Uh, barely manages to speak between her sobs. I don't know if I'm make if I'm doing the right thing, but all I was want is for her to know that I care. If you have it in you to call yourself selfish, then you have it in you to let me be selfish too. No matter what it takes, I'll figure out what I, what what needs to change. I'll make sure these feelings go away. And if there's anything that you need me to do, then just you better tell me. I'll get mad if you don't. I, I, I don't know. I, I don't know. I don't know. Generally, generally, Sayuri finally puts her arms around me in return. I don't 
don't know any anything. It's all really scary. I don't understand any of my feelings. I'm not gonna say the fucking name Big Dick Five now because it's just this game's getting too real for that. To be honest, uh, the only time I'm not feeling nothing is when I'm feeling pain. But your hugs are so warm, and that's really scary too. Oh, she does. I let I let her go as well. The festival is tomorrow. Yeah. Not really a thing you should be bringing it up at a time like this, man. I mean, granted, you probably want to try drift away from that conversation. Oh, what the fuck? Did I click something? Yeah, but granted, you probably want to try drift away from the, that type of conversation, but... Um... Yeah, okay. Yeah. How would you like for me to spend it all with you? Do you know what's the last one the thing to say? Um, uh, it's it's what I want. I promise. I I think that would be nice then. Yeah. Sorry, wipes away, wipes her eyes. If I could spend the whole day with day here, I would. Of all days, this is, has to be the one where I have other plans. Maybe I should cancel. No, don't, please, don't. If you did that, then I really wouldn't forgive you. But. It's almost time for Yuri to meet me at my house. At the very least, do you want me to come alone, come along and help out? It would be fun. To my surprise, Yuri shakes her head. I'm sorry. I don't know if that would be very good for me right now. You understand, right? It's kind of hard for me to fully understand. But I'm trying my hardest. It's okay. Don't to worry. Don't worry too much about it. I'll see you tomorrow. Okay. All right. I look forward to it. I say goodbye to Shiri and text and exit her house. On the way home, I find myself still feeling uneasy. But it's hard for me to keep thinking about it when Yuri is about to come over. I think Shiri is right. I should. Pro I shouldn't be worrying too much, and we're definitely going to have a great time tomorrow. I said, just focus on what's ahead of us, me, of me. As I approach my house, I love how she just told me this, and the music just changed to like the most cheerful thing ever. Like it, it drops the view, it drops the view, the player, with such a fucking bomb, like that, and then it just puts this music on. It's like, yeah, cool. But I think you've probably gathered that this, if this is the direction the series is going to start going into. There's probably not going to be too many jokes uh, because that was obviously quite a serious topic. Um, as I approach my house, I see something that makes me feel a moment of panic. Uh, Yuri, uh, thank thank goodness you're a little early. I'm sorry, I wasn't home yet. You weren't waiting for too long. No, I I just got here. But I started to get really nervous when nobody answered the doorbell. Where the fuck are our parents? Like, do I not have parents? Do I live alone? I'm a high school student, so I shouldn't live alone. But, whatever. I mean, did they live alone in Japan at high school? I don't fucking know. Uh, you could have always texted me. If I had known, I would have uh, reassured you and hurried one more on my way. Uh, I suppose that's true. I didn't think that. For some reason, it should have been common sense to do that, but I decided I decided to ignore it. Anyway, let's get inside. I see you brought a lot of stuff with you. That's right. And did you manage to find everything I asked you to buy as well? Why do I have to buy shit? Yeah, pretty much. At least I hope I got everything right. I'm sure it'll be fine. I take Yuri to my room. The first thing she does is glance around curiously. Which makes me feel anxious. It's so clean. <laughs> I cleaned it because you came over, so that's very uh, considerate of you to do. Ah, no, I would really be embarrassed for my room to be a mess while you were here. Um, well, I do enjoy cleaning. 
I would probably have gladly helped you a lot. Uh, helped you clean. Uh, that would be very. That'd be even more embarrassing. Wait, don't look in there. Yuri snatches. Uh, I snatch Yuri's wish, uh, wrist, which was in the press of opening a desk drama. Did it have all your pawn in it? It had all his pawn in it, didn't it? He's a uh, pawn books day boy. Ah, so I'm sorry. I wasn't thinking for some reason. I was just spacing out. It's fine. It's fine. I let go of Yuri's wrist. She puts both her hands firmly in her in her lap, as if she's making sure um, keep track of, to keep track of them. So, um, should we get started? Yeah, yes. Uh, I have a few things planned that uh, you could help with. Decorations and other atmospheric uh, enhancements. Atmospheric enhancements, probably candles. You know, like mood lighting and atmospheric candle. Yeah, candles are fucking amazing. I used to have loads of candles. Like they were so nice. I just haven't had the time or money to even go buy any more recently. But as soon as I start make get a job and stuff, and I start making some money like that, I uh, definitely start buying some candles again because they're, they're they're nice. They they uh, relax you a bit. They they do their job. Oh wow! I don't know. You planned on taking it. It that far. Of course. I want to help take our guests to a far, far away place. Although may, uh, many will stop by just for out of curiosity. And for cupcakes, I guess. I'm, de I'm determined to, pr uh, to provide an experience that will leave them wanting more. That's great. It's easy, f uh, it's easy to forget that you're a pretty intense person. <laughs> intense. I guess that's the best way to put it. Is that a bad thing? No, not at all. It's something that I like about you, actually. Is that so? That makes me feel relieved. I'm kind of happy. Yeah. No need to be so anxious. You can relax a little. Relax? I brought some, f uh, some things for relaxation. I was going to use them during the poetry event. Oh, yeah, like that. Let's see. Yuri rummages through her bag. She pulls out a few candles and a wooden cylinder. Right, shape, uh, wooden cylinder shaped object. Uh, I did some shopping on the way here, so I decided to have these in my bag. I plan to cover the windows with black paper and use the candles to light the room. I thought that would be amazing, don't you? To be honest, I can picture that on my head and it actually look pretty dope, so yeah, I can, I can, I can. Agree with that. Yeah, that would be really neat. That's uh, what's the wooden thing though? Oh, this. It's a different for. Oh, really? Essential oils. So essential oils is like maybe like. Yeah, yeah. Just Google it. <laughs> How familiar are you with atmospheric? Aroma aromatherapy. Not familiar at all. <laughs> ah, is that so? It's one of my favorite contributes to a positive atmosphere. Depending on the oil or herbs you choose, you can change the mood of the air itself. You can feel it uh, prune it through your body. Relaxation positive to positive energy, romance inflection, reflection. It's almost like magic. Yuri takes the cylinder and pushes a, uh, pushes a switch on the bomb. In just a moment, a thin ray of vapor begins uh, to spout through a small hole in the, on the top. Wow, that smells wonderful. What kind of mood is that one for? This is jasmine essential oil. Uh, it smells a little sweet and flowery, right? That's a, that's a good way to describe it. I chose more jasmine for the event because it provides more than relaxation. Jasmine enhances your emotions and helps you feel them flow through your body. You feel warmer and your heart pounds more heavily. Don't you think that would be perfect for sharing our poems? It really sounds suitable. I mean, she's really going out on this, to be honest. I'm actually quite impressed. Like, that's putting a lot of thought into it. Uh, but you seem to know a lot about this, so I'll trust your opinion with everything. You smiles uh, gently, clearly enjoying herself. She again reaches into her bag and pulls out several pulls of 
uh, pull, spools of thin ribbon. What are those for? Well, did you purchase the original the origami paper I, I asked you to get? Yeah, I have it over here. We won't be using the paper for folding origami. Uh, I don't. I'd like to use it to write a different word on each paper. You could have literally just got regular paper then. It would have been cheaper. <laughs> it would have been so much cheaper. Origami paper costs like 20% more than what actual paper does or some shit. So, Well, uh, we'll need about 100 of them. Uh, yeah. Uh, what will those be used for? Well, I'm going to cut pieces of ribbon to hang out from the doorway. Oh, so it's going to be like a curtain for the classroom. So you come in and it's got like little things on the bottom. Oh, that's quite cool. Then we can then we can fasten the paper uh, onto the ribbon and create a doorway curtain. Yeah, wouldn't that be beautiful? Yes, it well it wouldn't be beautiful, but it'd be cool. It look it look cool. It wouldn't be like oh though. like they'd, they'd they'd be cool if they things. If you did the room correctly, the room would be more oh, than the doorway. But yeah, um, it would also catch the eyes of people passing by the room. I mean that one is true though. Uh, it may peek, uh, it may attract some some to peek inside. That's really creative. I had no idea you'd be so good at this year. Is that so? Well, I suppose I get a little intense, as you you'd put it. <laughs> Yuri giggles with red cheeks. Is it just me, or is she more relaxed than it's just us two of us? Or when it's just the two of us, or maybe it's the. Uh, excitement she feels when sharing something that she enjoys or it's maybe the vapor that she brought you know the one that literally tells it that makes you relax but no okay here's a marker big dick five you can write any characters you want i'll help you once i finish cutting the ribbons ah all right sing on the floor together the two of us get to work i carefully draw a different character on these paper doing my best to manage my best handwriting Yuri unreveal, uh, unravels a long strand of red ribbon to her desired length. Then she reaches into her bag once more and pulls out a pocket knife. Eh? The knife is strangely beautiful. The silver handle has an intricate pattern of waves edged into it. The blade itself is, gen uh, is gently tin tinted blue. That's no ordinary pocket knife. It looks really fancy. Ah, uh, well, embarrassed Yuri looks away. What is it? You're going to think it's weird. Yuri, what is it? I have no reason to judge. To each their own, you know. If you promise you won't be weirded out. I mean, sure. Yeah, I promise. Alright. The thing is, I'm kind of into knives. Yeah, that's basically just confirm the the theory that she cuts. Um, obviously, it could not be. I mean, she could be like shoe collectors. She could be into like shoe collectors are into shoes, aren't they? And they collect shoes, and she could literally just collect knives. But I don't think that's the case. I mean, she's wearing a long. I don't think I've ever seen her with like short stuff, really. But um, they're just so pretty. I can't help it. I don't know what it is. The combination of craftsmanship and feeling of dam of danger, maybe. Uh, what am I saying? Please don't think I'm weird for this. <laughs> You're laughing at me. No, I'm laughing. I'm not laughing at you. It's just funny how nervous you get about sharing. It's, well, it's interesting thing to be into, I guess. But I think it's kind of suits you. Suits me? Yeah, it's kind of an intense... Besides, it's a really cool looking knife. I can't deny that. Is it? Isn't it? It is, isn't it? Uh, Yuri relaxes her expression once again. Would you like to hold it? Um, f sure. <laughs> sure, I'll check it out. Yuri carefully hands me the knife with the handle facing me. I take it and turn it around in my hand. It feels heavy and extremely solid. Where do you even get a knife like this? Amazon. Google it. Curious of its sharpness, I feel the point of the knife with my index finger. Ow! What a fucking idiot. <laughs> Big Dick 5. Why did you do that? I didn't expect it to be that sharp. 
I barely touched it at all. It's my fault. I should have warned you. This knife is extremely sharp. It can just cut through skin like it's pit. Is that why you use it? Oh no. A small bop, uh, drop of blood trickles down the side of my finger. Here he takes my hand and gives me the wound a clear look. Ah, she stares at it and uh, noticeably fidgets. If you're squeamish, I'll, I'll wash it off now. Ah, without warning, Yuri puts my finger in her mouth and licks the. W I mean, actually. As, as weird as that is, that does actually like prov like stop the bleeding momentarily. So that is actually quite a like smart move. Because I used to do that when I was little. When if, if I got cut, I'd put it in my mouth and uh, suck on it, and it stopped the blood from coming out. And it's kind of like a weird thing to do. It's like kind of like a vampire-ish thing to do, but yeah, surprisingly, it does actually help. So, like if a dog, does, if you're bleeding, and a dog does it, dogs have antibiotic in their um you call it, I can't remember what it's called, saliva or something like that, they have like an antibiotic, antibiotic, antibiotic chemical in their saliva or something like that, so when they lick like, lick like a wound on your, um, that's why they lick their own wounds, because it helps it heal, um, but if you, if they, if you had a cut something and the dog licked it, it'd, it'd feel a bit better, just, so there you go, you know, you now know some, uh, some medical tips with us, but yeah. I feel a tongue curl around my thing. Okay, if she's doing it seductively, that seems like she's doing it seductively. Like, it's literally, all you have to do is go. It's, you don't have to go. Like that, you know what I mean? It's uh, startled, I, I instant, inst instact, instinctively pull my finger back. Oh, uh, please forgive me. I wasn't thinking, for all I know, I could have gone for a piss and not washed my hands and it being salty. You never know. I... Yuri lowers her head. Her face buries up, bends up. Yuri, that's the most embarrassing thing I've ever done. How could I do something like that? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Uh, sure, it was a little weird, and it took me by surprise. But I guess she was just trying to help, right? Yuri, I think you're either reacting a little. Uh, she doesn't lift her head. What if she doesn't recover from this for the rest of the af afternoon? All right, you know what? I might as well be stupid. It might be a stupid thing to do, but I will always, I'll do it anyway. I took Yuri's hand and licked the index, lick her index finger in return. I mean, I guess that is a way to kind of get even, I guess. I'm just gonna call him five. I'm just gonna call him five from now on. Five, did you really just do that? No, now we're even. Yuri just looks at me like I did something wrong. Ah, I knew that would be a bad idea. If not for the sweet aroma of the j jasmine oil, the air would be ex extremely heavy right now. You're so weird, Dip Five. Yuri giggles shyly. Yuri call me weird? I have no response to that. Where do you keep your bandages? Uh, I don't think I need one, actually. It was quite a tiny cut. Look, it already stopped bleeding. I see. That's rel relieving. The tension is quietly lifted. We each resume our respective activities. I watch Yuri's knife cut through the ribbon like it is nothing but air. Meanwhile, I continue to make air progress on the paper. <laughs> After we finish attaching the paper to the ribbon, we lay them down by the side. It looks better than I expected, and will be very effective as a door coming. It looks great. Good thinking coming from coming up with this, Yuri. Ah, thanks. It's just something I saw online, really. Are you ready to move on to, uh, on to the next pit task? Yeah, let's do it. What do you have in mind? I'd like to create a banner. That's why I asked you to buy this... The pain tablets. Ah, that's right. One of the uh, items Yuri has asked me to buy was a, uh, a knit of watercolors, paint, watercolor ta painting tablets. Well, we need about six cups of water to put each of the tablets in. 
Do you mind fetching those up, uh, those for us? Of course not. Six cup of water. I'll be right back in a minute. Thank you very much. And uh, just a bit of water is okay. If you fill the cups too much, it would be over diluted. Okay. Taking Yuri's advice, I decided to use small plastic bathroom cups rather than full-sized glasses. I put them on a plate to catch any point uh, paint that drips, and then bring it back in my room. Yuri, yes. I came to see Yuri quickly unrolling her sleeves, pulling it back over her arm. Ah, nothing. Your face. Wait. Pulling it. One minute. Yuri quickly unroll her sleeve, pulling it back over her arm. Did she cut while she was in my room? What? Did she cut while we was getting the water? Or was she just looking at our cuts? Okay. Your face is a little red. Is it too hot in here or anything? Ah, no, no, no. There's, there's nothing wrong. So, um, let's mix the paint. Yuri hurriedly dismisses me and takes it upon herself to unwrap, uh, unwrap the tablets, dropping them into a cup. So, I thought we'd uh, do something simple that would, like, look very nice. I'd like to paint. A gradient across the banner. Starting with the colour of a sun sunrise, the daytime, then sunset and night time. Once it rises, I'll write an inspirational quote across the banner. We can hang it on the wall besides the podium at the front of the classroom. Ah, neat. Uh, what are you going to do? What are you going to write? Well, it would be more fun to surprise you. Yuri smiles at me. If you say so. After rolling out, rolling out the banner, Yuri and I kneel on opposite sides so we don't get in the way of each other. Yuri uses a brush and adds a few drops of different colours across the banner to serve as a colour grid a guide when she paints. The thing, the kind of thing, this kind of thing reminds me of elementary school. Painting on banners with water colours feels like what feels like the art class project project we ha we had back then. It's relaxing. Ah. Uh, I'm sorry if this feels too childish. No, I, I didn't mean that at all. It, it's kind of fun, you know? Yeah. It is fun. I'm glad you feel that way too. Yuri stops painting for a moment thinking to herself. For me, I don't need to go out and do crazy things to have fun. In fact, I usually don't even want to. I just like it when I can spend time with one person. Even if someti uh, sometimes... Even if it's something simple like reading, it doesn't even matter if we don't talk much. Just having a friend next to me makes things better. I l uh, feel a little bit nicer. I think I think that's all it takes for me to be happy. Is that so? Even if Yuri and I are quite different, I can understand where she's coming from. I feel that way about things like anim anime and games. Where simply sharing the experience with someone can make me happy. I think I feel the same way. Yuri smiles gently. I know you'd understand. Yuri leans over the banner to grab an un uh, unused pen thing. A pen thing. I didn't get to read it in time because I clicked the button. Because I'm trying. I don't know why I'm trying to read this fastly, but I am. <laughs> I think it's because I'm trying to get like. Trying to get like at least two parts done a day, and then I'm trying to get another video out as well. So it's just hectic, really. Um, but I move at the same time, causing my my head to bump into hers. Yeah, sorry. Yuri reels back and uh, quickly lifts my hand in surprise. Are you hurt? No, I'm not hurt. It just startled me. That's all. Sorry, I should have asked you to get it for me. It it's not your fault. Your face. There are droplets of paint on Yuri's face and neck. Is there something on my face? Yeah, I accidentally got paint on you. Sorry, it, it's totally my fault. I'll get a towel right, right away. I rush out and fetch a small towel, then I 
dampen it with hot water. I returned to my room and kneeled down, uh, back down in front of her. I'm pretty sure she's capable of cleaning her own face. Um, but okay. Here, I pat down Yuri's face and neck with the towel. Okay, so she's closed her eyes. Ah, is something wrong? It's hot. I just didn't expect it. Sorry, I didn't want to use hot cold water. Have, having finished, I started to retract my hand. But Yuri suddenly holds my wrist. Wait. Eh? Just for a little longer. Okay. It feels really nice. I keep my hand still, uh, still against Yuri's neck. She looks into my eyes. It's an intense expression that I recognize from when she's reading her books. I'm as if she's lost in her days, en enve enve en enveloped by her own thoughts. En enveloped? I think that's what it says. I have no fucking clue. Uh, she breathes gently, half through her silently pied lips. Solidly pied lips, sorry. Uh, what is happening? Is this aroma of the jasmine oil giving me this dizzy feeling? Your gentle fingers wrapped around my wrist send a tingle sensation through my arm. Don't fucking kiss her, don't kiss her. Don't do it. And suddenly her face seems to be much closer to mine than it was just a moment ago. Don't do it, dude. Ah! Yuri oh, fuck, fuck. Yuri slowly pulls away. Sorry. Uh, I've been feeling a little lightheaded today. I didn't mean to space out. It's fine. The moment is over as soon as it began. Yuri picks up her bush again. But her mo uh, movement seems clumsy, like she's unable to focus. I remain silent, focus, uh, focus to ignore the event that just happened. I'll tr try and, I'm just going to say happen because it's easier to read. I hesitantly retrieve my own brush and continue following Yuri's example. Ah, that should do it. Uh, I finished filling the night, uh, the night sky with the white dots. That's what looks like stars. A uh, stars, sorry. Looking at the banner as a, as a whole, it's very pretty and unnatural looking. I think it came out better than I expected. Uh, I'm really happy with the results. Yeah, me too. Are you going to add the layering now? Uh, not yet. I need to dry it first. That's true, but won't that take a while? Well, perhaps it could it could be best to leave it here. Then we could do it overnight or something like that. I can do the lettering in the classroom before the event starts. Is that okay? That's totally fine. Wonderful. In that case, I don't think there's anything more for us to do here. Whew. <laughs> you say that like you're glad it's over. Was I wrong to assume that you weren't at least drawing yourself a little bit? Ah, no, it, it's not that. I'm just glad that we managed to get everything done I see I am too I was a little uh, concerned about time about time I need to start making dinner soon Aha. right so uh, some of it's come up I have to rush off really quick I'll probably try to get another episode recorded um, as soon as I'm done with what I'm well having to do now so yeah but um, if you enjoyed this episode it was obviously a bit deeper than uh, the other episodes um, we kind of had a feeling that uh, Siori was feeling that way and she suffered from that and um, I kind of opened up to you guys a bit more as well which in a way I kind of I kind of regret because well it's not really I don't really like opening up like that it's really out of my comfort zone but um, anyway if you guys enjoyed like subscribe and stuff and yeah, I'll see you guys in part six.